Hey, how you guys doing? I'm USMC Doc 14 from Pirate4x4.com and JKOwners.com, uh, doing a continuation of my <clears throat> field emergency medical videos that you guys have been watching. Uh, like I've mentioned before in the previous uh, in the previous videos, um, I am a trained medical professional, but uh, you are not. So please uh, utilize these videos for educational purposes only and please receive formal training so that you can be properly prepared for any sort of medical emergency if you do not trust your own abilities don't do it okay because uh you know and i highly recommend going and doing more research because the life you save may be your own what we're covering today is we're covering different um, hemostatic agents uh, people get confused as to what brand to buy or, you know, uh, and all that, or what's actually in the container. Now at, you know, 30 to $50 a piece, most people don't open these up and really get a good look at what exactly is inside these packages and what they do. So first things first is let me go and, uh, show you the different products that I have here. These are the three most common uh, hemostatic agents that are out on the market. Uh, the first being Hemocon Kaido Gauze, okay. The next being Quick Clot Combat Gauze, and the last being Cellox, okay. Now, I'm not utilizing any of the previous variations and versions of these uh, products because this is what is, you know, currently issued ish. Okay, now, first things first is let me go and tell you about. Uh, hemostatic agents, um, what they do or how they work. Now, the primary purpose of them is to cause clotting of some kind in some manner. Now, I'm not going to really dive into a shit ton of anatomy and physiology for you because I could really lose you. I'm just going to keep it real simple as to what happens, okay? Um, you get cut, it causes a cascading effect, the, the platelets start to bind and clump together, and that forms a clot. Okay, the clot blocks the hole, stops blood from leaking out. Okay, blood's supposed to stay in the body. Yeah, you get the idea. Now, <clears throat> let me go and start with one of the more well-known products is uh, Quick Clot. Now, this is the current generation of Quick Clot. Okay, this has nothing to do with the previous generation of Quick Clot. Okay, Quick Clot utilizes product Kaolin. Okay, Kaolin is... Uh, an, an aluminosilicate, it's it's an inert material, okay? Um, what that does is it causes uh, th that cascade effect, coagulation, and uh, it goes and it helps foster platelet adhesion to, to form up clots. Now, the previous generation of quick clot, and people are all, you know, oh my god, the heat and all that. Okay, yes, the first generation of quick clot produced heat. Um, <clears throat> In its format with the granulations, it actually absorbed water so fast um, that it caused an exothermic reaction, okay, and it, or it produced a heat reaction. Now, <clears throat> that heat was caused entirely by it absorbing the water. The heat itself had nothing to do with cauterizing a wound or anything like that. It didn't produce enough heat to cauterize a wound, but it did produce enough heat to cause tissue damage uh, surrounding it. Now, like I said, that's the previous version of quick clot, okay? So if you still have some of it, yes, it's going to produce heat. Yes, it's going to cause tissue damage, and it's all granulated and shit, okay? Now, <clears throat> the current version of quick clot is a gauze format, okay? Or, you know, like this, where it is um, a polyester type gauze, and it's absorbed, you know, it's got kaolin uh, impregnated into it. Now, this does not produce any heat. Actually, none of the products I'm going to be showing you produced any heat. Okay, next. Cellox, okay? Now, Cellox is in a granulated form, and Hemcon, uh, Kaido Gauze. What's funny is both of these utilize the same product to cause coagulation. These use um, Kaido San, okay? Kaido San is actually a derivative from the, the shells of, like, shrimp and shit. Um, it's been known for a while that it, it also goes and it uh, promotes the, uh, the the cascading effect of coagulation, and it also helps foster platelet adhesion. So this does it the same way as this, except this does it through uh, an organic product, and this does it through an inorganic product. Okay, but now people are going to be like, "Oh my God, it's shellfish!" Um, it, it's actually processed to the point. Excuse me a second, because this... 
Sorry about that. Uh, now, people are all like, oh my god, shellfish, I have a shellfish allergy. No, it's not quite the same, okay? Yes, it starts life as, like, shellfish and, like, shrimp and stuff, but no, it's, it's hypoallergenic. Now, now that you get the basic understanding of what makes these work, okay, uh, let me show you what the inside of the product looks like. I'm going to start first with the, the quick lock combat gauze. It's quick lock combat gauze, okay, and very vague but somewhat detailed instructions are on the back, okay. <clears throat> um, your expiration date down here, and it's vacuum sealed, okay. Now, if the expiration date is expired, it'll probably still work, okay. I don't know how long. So, you know, for you guys who are asking me about shit hit the fan situations, okay, I, I don't know how long after the expiration date it'll work, but it's it's sealed <laughs> airtight, okay. If this thing is still vacuum packed like this, it's it, it's it's an inert mineral, okay. Uh, it, there's nothing really to go bad. I mean, it can absorb moisture, but that's you can tell if it's absorbing moisture or not. <clears throat> now, you open the product. And inside is what appears to be some bunched up gauze, okay? And it feels like gauze. Okay. And if you're wondering what the blue line is, the blue line is actually a, um, a radio opaque marker. Um, <laughs> you need something, cloth itself, when stuffed in the human anatomy, does not pick up on x-ray, so you need to put something in there that's going to make it so that it shows up on x-ray. And that's what this blue line is, so that later on in surgery you can, you can tell where the hell this is. Okay, the use for this product, like I said before, is, well actually for all of these products, is to stop uncontrollable massive bleeding. Okay, not, oh, I got a boo-boo on my finger, let me, let me wrap this around. No, it's not for that shit, okay? If you cannot stop the bleeding by normal means, by either, by, you know, like, putting a bandage on it, applying pressure to it, anything like that, um, that's what this is for. That's what all of these are for. Now, the use for this is you're going to go and you're going to stuff this into the wound, okay? You're going to literally <laughs> stuff it into the hole, stuff as much of it in there as you can to stop the bleeding, okay? And then take the rest of it, if you can't stuff it in there, and you're going to Put it on top, and you're going to apply pressure, and then you're going to wrap it up or tie it in place so that it holds in place, so that it holds in the spot, and it does its job. Okay. <clears throat> but this is the quick lock combat gauze. Now, all these products are single use. Uh, don't go and like you know cut it in half, and I'm going to save a little bit for later. Okay, it's single use. <clears throat> so now that you understand that it's single use, and it you know, 40 to $60 a piece, whatever the hell this shit goes for, uh, you can understand that you're not going to be wasting this on minor boo-boos, okay? Now, we go to the next one. Next one is Himcon Kaido Gauze, okay? Now, same thing. Vacuum packed, okay? Generic instructions, okay? <clears throat> And, like I said, it says, you know, identify the source of bleeding, pack dressing completely into the wound tract. Okay, fill the wound. Anyway, apply pressure until bleeding is controlled. This one is also vacuum packed. Um, expiration date is printed. You can't really pick it up with the camera, but it's printed in into here. And, <clears throat> once again, shit hits the van, guys. I, I have no clue how long this is going to last after the expiration date. Okay, now, like I said, this one is Kaitosan impregnated. And it's about the same. It f doesn't quite feel like gauze. It feels more like a um, like a funky paper, but it's it's strong, okay? Like I can't tear it. And it it smells funny. <laughs> but once again, uh, just like the uh, the quick lot gauze, the use for this, okay, is for extreme hemorrhaging, okay, and you're going to go and take it, you're going to stuff it into the wound cavity, okay, as much as you can, and then you're going to take the rest of the gauze, and you're going to put it on top, and you're going to apply pressure, and you're going to wrap it in place, and continue to...
going to get mess all over the place. This is cellox, okay? This is a hemostatic granulation, okay? Um, this is a granulated version of chitosan, okay? <clears throat> uh, doo -doo -doo. And once again on the back, it tells you the directions, okay? Always read the directions for these products so that you're using them effectively. Open the package. Blot away excess blood from the wound with a gauze pad, okay? <laughs> Blot away the excess blood from the wound with anything cloth that you have, okay? T-shirt, sock, whatever, okay? Immediately pour entire contents of pouch directly into wound. Apply firm pressure. That is where the little, that's where you need to pay attention to this product. This needs to be poured inside the wound, okay? So you need to go and if, you need to slow the blood down enough so that you can actually dump a good chunk of this in. Now, in a real, uh, a really nasty arterial bleed, you can actually, you're going to have enough force for the blood flowing out to push this stuff completely out of the wound channel. Okay, so if I had a wound here, okay, I would have to apply pressure, like, above it so that I can slow down the blood enough that I can dump this into it, okay? <clears throat> this is going to make a mess. So you're here. And what you have is you have a fine powder, okay? Let's see if you can get a better look. It's fine powder. It looks like cornmeal. But it's definitely not cornmeal. Okay? It has a unique smell. Um, I'm not going to taste it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yes, this is Cellox powder. Okay? And, like I said, you have to dump this into the wound channel. Now, this is why... This is my personal opinion, okay? I like the gauze impregnated stuff better than the powder stuff because I don't have to worry about this. Well, I don't have to worry about that as much, okay? And if I have a hole, um, I feel much more comfortable being able to stuff a piece of cloth in there and keep stuffing, keep stuffing, keep stuffing instead of screwing around with this shit and trying to dump this into a hole that's pumping out blood, okay? It, it's a fine powder, okay? Yeah, it may work very well, but in my, my personal opinion, I... I'm sorry, I don't care for it, but it works, okay? It saved a shit ton of lives. Even the old school fucking heat producing quick clot, okay, saved a shit ton of lives. <clears throat> that, and I'm a person about space, okay? Um, that is a big-ass package, okay? This gauze, okay? And same with the, the Kaito gauze, okay? These don't take up a shit ton of space, and they're multi-purpose. Okay, this is gauze. I don't have to carry another piece of gauze with the cellox or another piece of, piece of cloth with the cellox and stuff into the wound cavity. I already have a shit ton of gauze right here. Okay? And if you have multiple holes, okay, I can go and stuff enough of this shit in there, okay? You know, stuff a bunch of this into the, you know, into one wound, okay? Sever it off. Wow, this stuff is fucking tough. Okay, sever it off, and now I have more to stuff in another wound cavity. Okay, but like I said, all this stuff is single use. Now, all this stuff is commercially available. None of this stuff requires a prescription because it's considered a bandage. Okay, um, just wherever you buy it from, make sure that the expiration date is way the hell out there. Uh, and I'd, for the price that you're paying, I'd actually call them and say, hey, can you, you know, what is the expiration date before you send that shit to me? Well, that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, you know, please uh, post them in the comment section so, because other people do have questions, uh, and it may be the same question you have. But post it in the comment section, and I'll answer it as soon as I can. If you uh, need any more videos or any more visual references, please feel free to ask. <clears throat> and like I said, go out and learn. Okay, Learn as much medicine as you can. Um, <clears throat> it's training that can save lives. And the more efficient you are at saving lives, the, the more efficient you are at ending them. Okay, well, that's USMC Doc 1-4 for jkowners.com, pirate4x4.com, and you guys have a good night.